What is everybody? TC from the Calgary Flames. I'm back again instantly after recording the last pools match. We're here versus the TDM Razor Wolf, and this is going to be the hardest match in our pool because one, he's a very good player, and two, if you heard from my quick draft breakdown, I have no card type. So what that means is any electric type is going to walk all over me, and I cannot do anything about it. And as you can see, tap Coco. Anyways, I'm um, gonna go through the team quickly. We have Scarfic TV because he doesn't really have to get switched into V Create other than Tyranitar. And I do turn the V turn on that, obviously. And so, once that's gone, I can just go for Scarf V Creates. And yeah, I'm not, I have speed, I have speed Buzzable in case he's Scarf. And later in the match, you'll see he is Scarf. Slash Dial Lego. And funny story with this, I have three attacks on it Sludge Wave, Rocks, and T Spikes. Now, the thing is, is when we. Originally started the battle, I accidentally brought the wrong team. And so I asked him the, if he could reach town and he said yes. Thank god. And um so we quit the battle, he rechallenges me, and it wouldn't set my team, because I had hidden power fighting on this for Titar and Excadrill. But for some reason there's some IB thing I didn't know about. I start panicking because I figure if I take too long he's gonna think I'm changing my team. So instead of trying to fix it, I just get hidden power fighting and just get in the game. So, I kind of tell him uh, in the chat here, IV problems in power, so we don't have a move on it. But yeah, um, we have Dragon Dance, we have sub Dragon Dance Mega Latios here. Um, sub because I don't want Slow King to burn me. And if I get a Dragon Dance sub and we can Buzzable, the game's over. I don't have Zen Headbutt, I have Dragon Claw and Earthquake. Um, a Soul Blessed Shaman with enough investment to live rocks plus three Tapa Coco Thunderbolts. Therefore, I can switch into rocks, take a thunderbolt, switch into rock, thunderbolt, switch into rock, thunderbolt, then I can die. But that's just so I have at least some sort of switching. Um, if you rock physical, I basically would have been screwed. Um, Assault Fest did Azumarill because it can. Because I really got to be able to switch moves, I didn't need Choice Band, and he had a Tangra up anyways. And so, I kind of want to switch moves versus that if I could. Or, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I brought Assault Fest. There was some sort of EV, I forget why I calculated it, but it was important. I think it was to take Thunderbolt from Latios, because that is a Mega Latios too he has. And then we have... What is my Crobat set? Right, it's Max Speed Jolly Wakan, because that'll be Tap Tap Coco, and I have enough special defense to live a Specs Thunderbolt. And then I have Cross Poison to do like 70% to it. So we're getting right into it. I lead off with my Lego. He leads Tapu Koko. Um, I was pretty sure he'd fear the Scarf because it was a good set to bring versus him. He does go Slow King, and I get both my hazards off. That's all I wanted. On you, he me. I don't care. I'm just gonna start spamming Sludge Wave as it's my only move, other than the hazards. I didn't want to badly poison things because Tapu Koko will come in, take 12% from a regular poison, and then switch out. I didn't want him taking 6% from a Toxic poison, if that makes sense. I'm just playing Sludge Wave, he's going for Skull and Slack Off. I kind of noticed this little, I kind of noticed this pattern here, and I kind of didn't really want to risk switching anything in. Now I've been trying to do it if I wanted to, though. Um, I think I'm going to Sludge Wave again. As you get the lower roll, with Skull might live on 1%. I knew he'd have a Skull or Heal Up, but I just had to go Shaman here. He doesn't know that I'm not offensive. He talks off, and I'm just going to go for Steed Flare and not want to protect anything. He goes Torrenty, and I get a crit here. Um, it does a lot. And I guess it kind of does matter, but not in the sense where, like... I guess he doesn't really bring tornadoes in a ton, so it doesn't really matter in that sense, but it's still unfortunate. I talked about how I went to the U-turn, found out he's Life Orb, and I knew from the damage from Seed Floor that he was completely offensive. Um, he takes the Lure, thank god, and I can get rid of Tapu Koko here. Um, he even, I think it was him who even said it, um, he's never seen a cross poison Crobat. It's either him or someone else. But, yeah, I was able to take a kill. Um, I was pretty sure he'd pursue me here, and so I go for Ruse, try to preserve this as long as I can. Um, I didn't think he'd pursue again, which is why I U-turn out here, and go into Shaman, as he gets his rocks up, actually. Um, didn't want to risk misses, and this did more to Tornadoes anyway. I think, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, I think Super did more to Tornadoes, but I just go for Dazzling Gleam, not wanting to risk misses. And to a kill is very defensive. Alright, sorry. So at this point, if I bring in Victini, it's even more of a threat because he has less V create switchings, but he still does have Sloking and Latios. Um, he was Buzzwool. Um, I knew he'd be Scarf because he knows I could have Air Slash, which I did. 
<laughs> it's gonna be played. I can just go zoom around here and get my kill because player up will kill this torn or Latios, and if he goes slow king, player up into knockoff is a guaranteed KO. And I have some speed on EVs on this so that I know that I can outspeed him. I'll go for knockoff, take him out, and then he goes into buzz. No, he goes Latios here. I know I could take any move from him, even if he was some sort of physical stat. And I don't agree with this play, really. Well, I guess he didn't know I was Scarfy Teeny, but this was his last really check to it. And so here, I just kind of let myself take it. Um, he also really he also really built to be physical, so we both brought a physical Latios this game. Um, if he flinched me, I think I lost the game there. Luckily, he didn't. Um, I sat Crobat because I figured having, I didn't Thunder Punch there, but um, I figured having a Zoom Rail with Aqua Jet would be more useful than having a Crobat. I don't think Teeny is Scarfed, I can get a kill. Um, he makes his only play, which is to go Tornadus and hope that I choke and sack with Teeny here. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to sack the Zoom Rail here to the, to the Leaf Life. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take Leaf Life, live on 3. He's gonna heal and lose its poison. I'm just gonna awkward jet because there's no point. No, there's no point doing that either, but I just figured I may as well damage it instead of not. And then I can just go start for Teeny, go for BK, and we get the win. So I was really happy to get this win. This was we have two two and one with plus four differential, which is making me sit in really pretty actually to make the bracket round. Um I was just happy to beat him because it was this, it was one of the scariest team pre team matchups I've ever had to face, actually. Um, I think I prepped and played this very well. Um, the crit on Tornadus, I don't think it mattered really too much because he just kind of stacked the V-Create later on in the game anyways. Um, still was, unfortunately, just kind of... It's, it's like a mentality thing, you know, you get crit, you get upset about it. Like, it makes sense, it happens to everybody. But, yeah, good game, Razor Wolf. Um, yeah, so we have one more pool match, and if we win it, then we're setting in a really good position to make bracket round. So good game, and I'll see you guys later with the last match.